Yeah, it's me again. I am back. It is still Tuesday. Yes, it's still Tuesday. Um, but I said so much blabbering in my last vlog that I decided to shoot a second vlog. Um, and I guess I will focus on me and the word focus. Don't normally go together. Oh. Um, anyway, there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you about. First and foremost, what I forgot to say in my last vlog was pay attention to the shirt, folks. I don't know, have I ever worn the ViewSport shirt, the tank top? We had uh, the kind folks at ViewSport, which by the way, this does zip all the way up. Um, the kind folks at ViewSport. So if you go to View, V I E W, <laughs> so V I E here. I have not had enough coffee this morning. ViewSport. V-I-E-W-S-P-O-R-T. I, hold on, I think that their website though is viewsport.us. Um, I, will, I, I will link it up. But they um, are this really cool company that we have chosen to pair with to make our Fitfluential gear. The cool thing is though, this is not just about, this is why we dig these people. It's not just about having a shirt and slapping a logo on it. Anybody can do that. This, the cool thing about what they have is this, I just, I think it's very cool. They have this whole series of t-shirts and tank tops with this sweat technology that when you sweat, the um, like secret messages pop out. <laughs> so you might have, if you recall, I was, uh, they made us, I can't talk this morning, they made us these shirts when we went out to the CrossFit Games. And so my whole team had these uh, shirts that said Team GNC on the front because we were going to be doing a, a wad um, at, with the Reebok folks. And it said Team GNC on the front and in the back when you work out, the word proof, um, I wonder if I can show you where the proof is on this. Now, caveat, anyway, I'll tell you about this because the, the this material and the long sleeve this is different. But if you go to their website, you will see they have all this cool, uh, not only fitfluential stuff that when you buy a fitfluential shirt, it will say proof. So you know, like we do that little play on proof when you sweat and you you, you show your proof afterwards. This shirt, which side is it on? I literally can't tell. But uh, see that? That's the beginning of. Can you see it? Proof. <laughs> um, it's getting hot in here. Um, so, uh, they have all of this great uh, sweat technology, sweat activation technology, um, t shirt wear, if you will, for men and women. Very cool. Um, and, and then, of course, they have new stuff coming out, one of which is the long sleeve stuff. Now, I will tell you this. Um, I am really enjoying, I'm heading to the gym right now, I'm heading to Lifetime because it's like 28 degrees outside and I'm not quite equipped to run outside in that kind of weather. Not to mention there are not free weights outside. And since today is, what are we doing today? Back and biceps. Yeah, I'm going to Lifetime. And then I'm going to sit in the sauna afterwards. And... Anyway, I really like wearing, I don't know about you guys. Um, but even when I'm going to the gym, um, as, as much as I'm, I'm always, sorry, my neck's bothering me. Um, as much as I'm usually always hot, I like to, I, I like to wear long sleeves in the winter. I don't know why. Um, I'm your neighbor's lady. So I really like, the, um, I do have a top by Reebok that you guys have seen me wear, that pink one. Um, and I don't know if you can see this. This is a really... You know, this is not a thick material, it's that shiny, I don't even know, it's probably, who knows what the material is, I really don't care. It's that shiny, thin material. Um, it doesn't chafe, uh, it's very comfortable, it breathes with you. Um, I really like, so I wear this to the gym. Um, I do my workout in it. I, I don't think I've ever, like, I do have a tank top on underneath. And then of course, Under Armour Sports Bras. Um, but I tend to leave this on and it doesn't get me like so overwhelmingly hot that I feel like I have to take it off. So I really like it. Now this is the women's, um, obviously black. I'm trying to think if this comes in other colors. For the Fitfluential stuff with our logo on it, 
we had it made in black and red. I do believe it's also for guys. Um, I'll put the link up. But then they also have the t-shirts, which are regular, it looks like regular t-shirt material, but then when you sweat, the words come out. So they have all these cute sayings, and then they have the fit financial stuff too. Now, here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you order shirts from Viewsport, because you really need to know sizes, I've started to realize that <laughs> sizes from different brands are completely, um, I don't want to say inconsistent because they don't need to match one another, obviously. But for example, um, Reebok's clothes run very big. Um, in Reebok, I wear in a top now. I think I might even be down to like, I know I, I started with a medium and then I was wearing a medium for the, or no, I was wearing when I first started with Reebok, I was wearing a medium in the tops and a large in the bottoms, and now I'm down to a small, almost maybe an extra small in the top, and a medium in the bottoms, and that's what works for me. They run, um, they run big, and, and even in the guys, they, they tend to run big. Um, so, <laughs> View Sport is is the the opposite, in, in my opinion. They run small. So, for example, this, where I normally take a small, maybe even an extra small up top in Reebok, and and that's even with the girls. Uh, this is, God, if I'm correct, this is a medium. Yeah, if, if I'm correct, this is a, yeah, it is. Because I remember I wrote to Dave and I said, in the next one, I want to get a large. Now, as you can see, this fits me fine, okay? It, I, don't, I don't want it to be baggy. That's not what I'm saying. So a medium fits me fine. However, um, I do like it to be, and you can't see this, I do like the, the shirts to be a little bit longer. Um, because I do find with this medium that I'm, I'm kind of pulling it down. So I am personally going to go for a large. Um, so I will say that for girls and guys ordering from Viewsport, I would tend to pick whatever size you'd normally go and go a size up just to be safe. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm really digging it, and they do have some new stuff coming out. So um, for... I, I really shouldn't speak. I, it might not be coming out until January, but cool stuff. Gotta get you some. Now, that said, I'm already at seven minutes, so I told you guys about this. I'm getting ready to hit the gym, and sorry, yes, I have Christmas music on. Um, I'm getting ready to hit the gym, and because I've been so bad and I haven't shot, I haven't shot videos or done my blog in two weeks, which is just horrible. Um, but I think when I wrote my blog yesterday, I think you guys realize like, it's just been an intensely busy end of the year. Um, Fitfluential, we're growing so fast, and um, for example, today, my business partner is having surgery, so she's out. Um, she's out, and um, she handles all of our contracts and so on. She had to have gallbladder surgery. I think she's having that today. Um, I was gone in Boston that whole week, and then I came back and it was Thanksgiving. Um, so I don't think I have to travel until January, which I'm very excited about. But the one thing I'm really focusing on is, um, I mean, you guys know, it's been a really big challenge for me to put myself first, to not get up in the morning, go in there, start working, and, and then just look up and the clock is done. And, and I'm like, oh crap, I don't have time to go to the gym. You know, I'm putting everything off because it's hard. It's hard when you've founded a company that's doing so well to, as much as you want to, take time for yourself. Yesterday, you guys, yesterday was a typical, typical kind of day I used to have. Now, where, where I just let the day get away from me. I had so much to do. I was in my office yesterday. I got up at 7.30 or something, and I was in there. I think I was leaving, I was talking to Dutch, and I was leaving at eight or nine in, the, in my office. I was there the entire day. But I had deadlines, <laughs> and I had, you know, here's the problem with me. I'm so overloaded, I have so much to do, and yet I know that I, I need a break, I need a mental break, um, I, I, my body needs a break, I need to get away from the computer to really be on my game and you know on fire. It doesn't do me any good if I'm sitting in there in front of the computer and going, I'm not gonna leave, I'm just gonna, f well then, you know, we've all been that way, whether you're in college or if you're, um, I spilled coffee here, um, where if, you know, sometimes it can just be like getting out of the office and recharging gives you that energy and then you go back and you're fresh and you're ready to go. 
so I know I need it. But then on the other hand, sometimes, you know what it's like, if you have a deadline, you've got a deadline. You can only take so much of a break. So this holiday weekend, um, you know, I, I took time, I allowed myself, like, you know, on Sunday, I put up my Christmas tree and my decorations, and that always takes longer than you think. And by the time I finished, it was getting dark out. It was like 3 4 o'clock. And, you know, at that point, <laughs> I was frustrated, I was tired, I was crabby. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just mentally, I'm just drained. I don't feel like going in and doing any work. So I put it off and I said, I'm gonna work all day Monday. You know, I didn't have any appointments. So, but I was in there all day. And by the time I finished, it was 8.30. And I'm talking to, I thought the squirrel was out there. So anyway, I'm talking to my BFF Dutch who runs like 700 miles before breakfast. And he's like, well, I'm heading to the gym now. And I'm like, oh, really? I'm." wanting to head to the gym now, but I'm just like, this is me. So, um, all that to say, one of the things that I'm working on from now until the end of the year is switching my sleep habits so that I can get up earlier and earlier. Um, I told Carla I really want to get back to where I'm, I'm getting up at 6 in the morning. Um, but what I've been doing the past couple of weeks is going to bed a little bit earlier at night and waking up a little bit earlier in the morning, but transitioning. So like last week I got up, um, I think you guys know I was telling you, I was going to bed by like one o'clock at night. And then of course I really need seven to eight hours of sleep. So I was getting up at nine and I hate that. I freaking hate getting up that late. That is not me at all. Typically I would always get up at like seven. So um, last week I was getting up at eight and now this week I've been setting my alarm for seven. I actually got up this morning at six can't lie, I went back to bed until 7. So this week I'm getting up at 7. Um, hopefully by next week I'll be maybe at 6.30 and then will inevitably be by um, 6 o'clock. But that's how I'm transitioning to getting back up early and that's what we're going to be doing is getting up early. I say we as if there's more than one person in this house. It's just me. Um, but maybe with there's multiple personalities going on here so it really is we. Um, so I want to get up at, I want to get up by six and then just get out of the house like whatever's in that office can wait until I have my me time because I'm no good to anybody again this has been my biggest thing this year you guys is just taking care of myself yesterday was the typical frazzled day that I've had this year where you know I'm I'm working on something I'm getting out my first uh, my first proposal by the first deadline and then I look up and I realize it was two o'clock and I hadn't had anything since breakfast and the only thing I had for breakfast was a protein shake. This is like a ridiculous kind of a day. That's not good. It's not good to be just coming in going, oh, you know, I've got five minutes. Let me just grab something in the, in the you know, refrigerator and, oh, I don't have enough groceries because I have to go back and, you know, Walmart didn't have Brussels sprouts and you don't have time to cook and I don't have this. I, I can't, I've got to like get a handle on this. I've got to get a handle on this so that I can eat, take care of my body, you know, take my vitamins, take my supplements, and really just get a handle on this. I, you know, I'm never going to be fully caught up with work. Get over it. Make time for the things that count so that you can really be effective. And to really be effective, people, you need sleep. You need to have your workouts in. You need to eat right. And <laughs> those are three things that I'm not doing well. What am I doing really well? Working. Working, 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 and um, being stressed out. So we're going to so cheers to you. Mm, that was fabulous. Oh, shoot. One last thing. Maybe I'll show you. In a, uh, I really, this is all about clothes, you guys. But I did have this laying here. This is the last thing I'm going to wrap up with. <laughs> no pun intended. You might not find that as humorous when I tell you why I said wrap up. But this is like a wrappy cloth, um, piece of clothing. Carla, our friend at Misfit Online, showed a picture on her Facebook wall of this um, really comfy wrap thing with like a shawl over it. And I was like, oh my god, that looks so comfortable. Now, for those of you that know what's going on in this hormonally imbalanced world, you know, I'm hot all the time. I've been that way my whole life, where normally people you come to my house and they're, they're saying in the winter, can, can you turn the heat on? And I'm like, no, it's hot in here. I've always been that way. Now, it's even worse. Like now, it's winter out, you will not see me wearing a sweater. 
Um, I wear tank tops and sleeveless stuff all the time because I'm hot all the time. So my thing is to wear like a tank top or something and really there's not a lot I can wear other than something tanky toppy -y, and then a sweater or a shawl over it that I can take off if I get hot. It's just the way my life is right now, but luckily it's kind of in style, so I don't look that ridiculous. Anyway, Carla had this wrap on and I was like, where did you get it? So here is a soft plug because this kind gentleman, Darren from Yogi Clothing sent me this wrap. So let me just show you how wonderful is this? Looks a little silly with workout clothes on underneath it, but can you see this is like a, a thin, a thin material, very comfortable. Of course, I don't know if I'm showing you this, but if you look it up on the website, you'll be able to see. So it's a, it's a wrap and it, if you, you can't see this, but it goes all the way down and it's not, um, it's, it's not flat on the bottom. So down on the bottom, it's, it's much longer in the front and then in the back it goes up. So, you know, it's like this, you can go to the website and, and check it out. We all love sleeves that are not like up to here, right? So the sleeves are nice and long and cuddly. And then you've got all this extra material, right? So I have to see how Carla did it, but I think she did that. So you can do, you know, like that and, and cuddle up with it. All about the couple. Um, it's very, it's, it's light and airy. See how, do you see how thin that is? But at the same time, it's kind of fuzzy and warm. And I love that it's just, it's very easy and breezy. <laughs> you sound like a commercial. Um, but anyway, I really, really love it. They also sent me some yogi pants, which I'm not wearing right now because I'm going to the gym, but I love it. So I have to give them a soft plug and tell you guys to check that out. And again, yogiclothing.com. Tell them Kelly sent you. And um, I'm gonna get this in another color. And in fact, I believe I'm gonna get some, I think these would be great for my mom. Um, with chemo and everything she gets chilly um, but she can you know go, go from hot to cold and whatever but um, she wants stuff to wear around the house because I think that number one thing for her that's frustrating is you know the days after chemo she just doesn't have the energy so she's staying in the house and she doesn't really have as much like you know lounge wear so I think I'm gonna get her some of that too but anyway I am off to the gym I want you guys to have a fabulous day cheers to you this way and then I just have like one cup if you didn't watch my last vlog I put one tablespoon of cream in my coffee with um, coconut oil and cinnamon and it's just enough so then I'll fill up the one cup I put one tablespoon of cream in and then I might have some leftover coffee and I fill it up but I don't add more cream and it's quite delish so cheers to you I will see you tomorrow and um, I thought the squirrel was back I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>